sex energy comes from within. Um, and I thought we'd talk about what that means, because I think in our culture, in the global culture, as women, we have it backwards. Yes, I see that so often with clients. It's like they're trying to get sex energy from the gaze of another person. And I think that's why there's such a focus for some women on finding a partner. It's like that's the way they get their sex energy, um, you know, by by a flirt, flirting comment or, you know, an appreciative gaze from someone else. Uh, and really sex energy can be created from within. Well, let's break it apart because sex energy is creative energy. Mm -hmm. It's the life force. It's like the main reason we're here, right? Yeah. <laughs> is to connect and procreate, right? So it's this really strong biological drive. Um, and as women, we are conditioned to look to partners. So we, it's okay for us to be sexual when we're pleasing someone else. Right. And to generate sex energy, you need to be sexual with yourself and you need to tap into your own body and be able to generate your own pleasure. And then you tap into that sex energy and then, you know, it just comes out. I mean, then then you're attracting others because others notice that energy. Well, it's kind of like why we don't feel sexual desire, because that's the question that I get most often, especially if we're doing any kind of interview with a magazine or some kind of media outlet. It's like, how do we create desire? Mm -hmm. um, and desire comes from within. So if I'm looking outward for desire, it can work. I mean, it is low hanging fruit. When yeah. we meet someone that we find attractive and gives us that little zing and that little blood flow and it gets everything pumping. Um, that works, yes. But whenever we want, we can just go within. Everything you need is right here in the body. So if I'm touching my body on a regular basis, if I'm thinking about my sexual expression and what mm -hmm. appeals to me and what inspires me, right, then I'm creating that energy and I'm having orgasms on a regular basis. And that energy is very compelling and attractive to others. Yes. And you're casting a wider net, right? Because now there are others that recognize, oh, she has sexual energy. There's something really attractive about her. I don't know what it is. Um, and, and you'll find that, that there are more people attracted to you. So you have a broader choice. You know, it's, it's kind of like practicing like you're a dancer. So you don't only do the tango with someone else. If you like to dance, you dance on your own. And then when you recognize someone else on the dance floor, that's like really getting, you can like, you know, go over to them and see how it is dancing together. What our sexual energy, what we bring to our own sexual relationship is what we bring to partner sex. Because it's like to thine own self be true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, when I'm cycling the energy and I understand my preferences it's the source of my self-esteem and it enables me to understand what I prefer, mm -hmm. what I'm looking for. I can state my pleasure and I can define my boundary and I can mm -hmm. easily say yes and I can easily say no, mm -hmm. right? If I understand myself, it's easier for me to understand others. And I feel like my self-pleasure practice helps me be a better wife, a better mother, right? a better practitioner. Mm -hmm. And a better person because then when I come into my relationships, I'm coming from a position of abundance. Yes. Yes. And you're not dependent on another person to provide for what you can provide yourself, you know, your pleasure, your right to pleasure. So it is shifting a belief system. We're shifting from a passive role with our sexuality that an orgasm is giving to us to an active role where we're free to take it anytime that we want to. So it's this sense of freedom. Mm -hmm. And that sense of freedom creates a sense of joy. Yes. And when we have joy, then partner sex comes out of that context of dominance with giving and taking. Mm -hmm. And it becomes sharing. So I'm sharing my body. I'm sharing my orgasm. We're sharing pleasure together. Mm-hmm. Yes, it makes such a difference. And and just just try one of my favorite things to do is to be aroused in public. 
I mean, I, I'm fine with just being in a state of arousal without having to go for an orgasm. I love it. I mean, it's just, it's a great feeling. It's this feeling, all my senses are heightened. It's, you know, it's a feeling of power. It's a feeling of joy. It's a feeling of happiness. So, you know, get yourself aroused and go out in public, go shopping, go to a restaurant and have a meal um, and just see what kind of reaction you get from other people. You know, more people are going to notice you more people are going to smile at you. It's your sexual energy coming forward. Which is your humanity. Yes. Right. So your orgasms will always carry you through anything life throws at you. 